don't forget to like and subscribe to Jolie Knotts Crochet. Hit share. Go ahead and share with your friends. Or you can hit that little bell to get notifications when new patterns release. Hi everyone, welcome back to Jolie Knotts Crochet. I'm Crystal and today we're going to be making these really neat scrubbing mitts. Now these mitts are just going to go over the top of our hand. We're going to use it with the Red Heart Cotton Scrubby Yarn. But the way that we're working these is with front post double crochets and front post triple crochets only. They are reversible if you would like to use either side. But with those raised ridges and the scrubby yarn, it's definitely going to help to wash those dishes or shine the dishes. Now, these two that I have worked up right here, these are made with the scrubby yarn. Now, this scrubby yarn is 100% polyester yarn. This is going to be a different feel than a scrubby cotton. Now they are good, they look almost exactly the same, but this one has a little bit more of a sheer and this one's going to be softer. So depending on what you're using for your dishes, you could have maybe a different one for glass and a different one for pots with all that icky dirt. Um, I do find that the polyester ones hold their color more. These ones really tend to fade in the wash, especially because I'm bleaching them out and trying to get them all fresh again. I also find that the cotton ones take a lot longer to dry. So you want to make sure that you squeeze it out or hang it up a little bit better. These don't hold on to water as much. So I prefer these ones over these ones, but everybody's got their own preference. So the materials you're gonna need is of course your yarn, some scissors, and a hook. Now with this kind of yarn, I like to use an inline hook. Now that inline hook is really going to help us grab our yarn and not grab all the other strands. It's going to be really helpful. And I'm going to show you two different techniques. This one right here on the bottom, if you can tell, is much tighter than on the top. This is done with double crochets. It's going to be a tighter for a different kind of scrub. And then on the top here, I've got treble crochets. This one is all treble crochets. So it's going to be your preference of the kind of scrubbing that you want on the bottom. Okay, let's get started. Let's go ahead and use this lighter color so you can see a tad bit better. Okay, so I know it is going to be a little bit tough to see our stitches because of this yarn. But what I'm going to do is double my yarn up just for about as much length that I want to make three chains. I want to make my ring pretty tight, but at the same time, I want to make sure that I don't need to weave in any ends. <laughs> We shouldn't need to weave in any ends with this yarn and especially just making a scrubby. So, so we're going to start out with a knot on our hook and we're going to chain four. The hook I'm using is a five and a half millimeter. If it's a little bit too tight for you, then you can go up to a six, whatever is comfortable for you. And now we are going to slip stitch to close our ring. All right, so now that we've got our yarn doubled up there, this is going to be a really nice tight ring for the end of our mitten scrubby. Okay, so like I said, if you want your scrubbing to be really tight together. You're going to start out with double crochets. I'm going to show you uh, the little bit of a looser one, which is the one I like as well. And we're going to do treble crochets. So we're going to start out by chaining four. 
yarn over twice and we're going to put 10 trebles into our ring. Now keep in mind because of this kind of yarn you're not going to be able to slide over your stitches so try to work as close as you can to the previous stitch that you just made. So there we've got three. Your chain four is going to count as your first treble. So now we've got 10. Now we're not going to be slip stitching our rounds closed. We're going to be working in continuous rounds. So right here in this first treble, this big space, we are going to put a double crochet right into that big space, just like that. Okay. That's going to be our only double crochet. Unless you're working double crochets, put a half double crochet. That's just going to help our row grow, but not grow with a step. It's growing slowly. Now working over that first treble, which was your chain four, you're going to put a front post treble crochet. Now you can pretty much see all your stitches. I mean your fingers are going to be able to go through them. So you're going to find each stitch and we're going to put two front post treble crochets around each and every stitch. Remember we started with 10 stitches, so that's our second one. Okay, so here we are, we've made it all the way around to our first stitch. Now this is the only time we're really going to want to know where one row ends and where one begins. I don't think you need to put a stitch marker because it's really your first stitch that already has two stitches. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go continuously around and around and around putting one front post treble crochet around each and every stitch. Just one. Continue working around in continuous rounds until you comfortably meet the top of your fingers. So for example, you're going to go around and around until this is comfortable. Now let me show you how we can count our rows. This is our first one. Here's the one with two in each treble. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows. Only six rows of 20 treble crochets, 20 front post treble crochets, all the way around. Meet me back here and I will show you how to even out the tops from your treble crochets one row to the next. Okay, so now that I've got my rows long enough to where I want them to cover my fingers, how I'm going to make this step down is, since we've been doing treble crochets, I'm gonna do a double crochet, a half double crochet, front post, all of them are front post, and a single crochet. And that's it. We just made that step down. Okay, now I'm going to chain 15, but I want my chains to be somewhat tight. I mean, as tight as I can get them, not too loose. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm gonna come right down here and I'm going to slip stitch into this base after our last single crochet, front post single crochet, I'm slip stitching into that space, okay? 
Now I'm just going to put a single crochet into every space between each treble. all the way until we get right back to our loop so that we can hang our little mat. Single crochet, one more. And that's it, that's our last one. Now we are going to slip stitch right in between these two. Chain. Try to pull that as tight as you can. Another chain. This is how we're gonna bind off because we can't really weave in these ends very well. And I'm just gonna put a couple of chains and make those tight. And there we go. I can snip that off close. It's not really gonna go anywhere. And there we have it. There's your washing scrubby mitt. All right, so they take, they're really, really fast to make, probably some of your quickest projects. Um, I've just made a few. You can make up in the cotton if you like. Whatever is your flavor, go ahead and do that. All right, thank you everybody for watching Jolie Knott's Crochet. Join me.